Springfield, Massachusetts, in front of the Sacred Heart Church. It's an enormous church. Unfortunately, the front of it is a very busy uh, street. We can't get great pictures, but we're at one edge of it along Stafford Street. We're going to walk out to Everett Street, and of course, its borders are fronts right onto Chestnut Street in Springfield. This was made in 1888. It's not the first Catholic church, of course, St. Michael's one. It's not even the first location of Sacred Heart. It was a small building that was built, and this was built second. So, what we're going to do is walk over, and you can see. Cornerstone, it says October 21st, 1888. The facade is gorgeous on this building. It's also gorgeous inside. I've been inside a few times. It's quite beautiful, to say the least. All right, from this vantage point, you can see the side of the Sacred Heart. You can also see, if you sweep over and walk down this pathway, you can see the monument, which is a gravestone. And you can see in the background is a building that's the former convent. And you can also see to your left-hand side, the rectory. This is a Second Empire building. It predates Sacred Heart itself. It probably is from the 1860s. It was bought by Sacred Heart to be the rectory and it housed the priests. There was a school in between the rectory and the convent and the school has been taken down to Sacred Heart School. And Everett Street is in the back on the side of this rectory. I hope to give a tour around here down Everett Street. You will also find many more uh, places of great interest. This is a functional neighborhood. And the Sacred Heart has been great on this landscape. It's manicured and it's beautiful sweeping curves around. And you, you see a gorgeous tree alongside the church. The doors are gorgeous. The beautiful wood doors around here. The, the brown stone to make it up was made out of long metal, at least long metal. Gorgeous long metal brown stone. And the, the steeples, the double steeples on the very top are, are metal pieces, architectural styles. It catches the attention of everyone that passes by. And you notice you have outdoor statues of Jesus twice over. And we're going to include many stops on this tour, including where the school was, where the convent was, other places that the rectory was, and the rectory itself, and the church. But this is a general introduction to this whole land. And we're going to walk down this path. Down this path is a gravestone to the founder of Sacred Heart. He is actually buried here, and we're going to have a, its very own video for this. Right, Reverend McDermott had founded this great uh, Sacred Heart. You notice the Celtic cross on the face of it, and some of the the symbols on the side are very Irish or Celtic, right? And so I'm, I'm going to have this as one of the stops, but you. You can bet how hard it must have been to start up any church, especially such a grand church as this. And he's one of three people in Springfield buried outside of cemeteries. The other two are buried in front of St. Michael's, a couple of the founders of St. Michael's. There's three bishops buried in the crypt of St. Michael's. And then there's this one here. So that's a total of six people, three inside in the crypt and three outside. That, that is more than any other community in Western Massachusetts. Okay, so thank you for coming to this interaction. I hope you go to every stop on the Sacred Heart of Springfield.